What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's Marcus. Today I'm going to be giving everybody five simple life hacks that you should know can help you out every day, everyday life and stuff like that. And make sure to stick around to the end to where I give everybody one bonus tip to help you guys out. So with all that said, let's jump into it. Alright guys, tip number one is a cooking tip, hat, whatever you guys want to call it. So my notes are over here. So if I'm looking over here, just know that's what I'm looking at. Okay? But tip number one is if you're a really distracted cook, and like you walk off from the food or you're playing on your phone while you cook and your food boils over a lot but if you use a wooden spoon to put on top of your pot pan whatever you're cooking with that stops it from boiling over so if you are distracted you can be distracted play on your phone do whatever you want watch your kids if you have kids or if you're not a distracted cooker and you like to watch it cook or whatever you want to do you don't have to use it but that's tip number one so let's get to tip number two tip number two is for all the coffee drinkers I hate coffee I don't like the smell of it I don't like the taste of it I don't like being around it period but my girlfriend likes coffee so I have to buy coffee and for this one the night the night before you make coffee Take coffee and make it already. Put it in an ice cube tray and freeze it overnight. Get up in the morning, make a new batch of coffee, and use those ice cubes to put in your coffee. That way, you know, if you want iced coffee, you can use those. When it melts, it won't get watered down. You know, it won't taste bad. It'll just taste like coffee and it, it'll add more to it. So hopefully you guys find that useful for all the coffee drinkers. Like I said, I personally don't like it. The smell, taste, nothing. So let's get on to number three. Tip number three is for all the pizza lovers like me. I know probably everybody likes some kind of pizza. So, you know, normally if you order it, it's not a big deal. But if you go and pick your pizza up and you have to take it home or whatever, if you have seat warmers, Turn your seat warmer on high and put the pizza in the seat and that will keep it warm for you until you get home. I don't know if you guys will find this useful if you already do it, if you don't do it. If you don't have you know, heated seats or whatever, then you're out of luck. I'm sorry, but if you do, I would suggest trying it and hopefully it works. Tip number four is for automotive people or anybody that has dirty headlights now I know everybody goes to Walmart or their auto stores that's close to them and they get this expensive brand of headlight cleaner lens cleaner whatever you buy but really if you just buy toothpaste and just clean your headlights with it it will work just as good I promise you it will make it clear, look like it's brand new, and it will help you see a lot better if you have like bad vision at night or something like that. So I would suggest giving that a try. So let's jump to the last tip and then I'll give you a bonus. Tip number five. Now, normally when you go to the grocery store and you buy Coca-Cola, you drink it, right? That's what people do with Coca-Cola. They drink it. Now, when I go to the store, I buy two one liters. One is to drink, the other one is to actually pour in my toilet and let it sit for half an hour, and then you flush it. The reason I do that is because it makes it shine better, it will clean it, and it will make it a lot better for your toilet. Now, I know people probably think that's crazy, but Coca-Cola is like, really bad for you if you look at it because it rusts nails and all that 
but I would suggest trying it if you haven't tried it because it actually does work and it will make it look better and flush easier. Let's go into the bonus tip. The bonus tip is if your power gets shut off by a storm or whatever the cause may be, take your flashlight on your phone, turn it on, put your phone face down to where the flashlight's pointing up. If you have a water bottle or a Gatorade bottle and you put on top of the flashlight, it will brighten up the whole room and it will look really cool while it does it. And I hope you guys find these live hats useful, the bonus tip useful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I recorded the whole thing on my Snapchat. So that was really fun to do. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you all for watching. Thank you.